Hello everyone, I'm going to solve problem 67 of chapter 17. If the core that B suddenly fails, determine the horizontal and vertical components of the initial reaction at the pin A. So we are interested in finding the initial reactions because simply after you have acceleration, then the reactions would change. And the angular acceleration of the 120 kilogram beam. So we have the mass. And we have the length, which is four. If we have the mass and length, which means that we have the moment of inertia, which is one third of the mass L squared. So the problem is asking for reaction forces. I'm going to call it A N and A T in addition to alpha. The first step is to draw a free body diagram. Put a free body diagram for our beam. If I can draw straight lines. So I have all A N and A T. Again, the direction, you can assume the direction. If you find a negative value, your assumption is incorrect. But if you have visual inspection, you can see that AT is going to provide us the tangential acceleration, then you can draw the correct direction from the very beginning. I have 800 Newton here at B after this one fails, then I don't have any forces acting here. But I have the weight of the beam. So I still need to write the mass is 120 and 9.81. So that's the Free body diagram. I need to draw the kinetic diagrams as well. MAGN and MAGT. So here MAGN towards the center of rotation, and the tangential component would be perpendicular to that. And of course, I have. IG alpha. So I write it as form of IG alpha, but at the end, if you want to find a moment about any other uh, point, that would be okay. So this is the free body diagram, and then the second diagram would be the uh, kinetic diagram. So I have three equations that I can write. Summation of forces in the normal direction would be MAG N or M R omega squared, so omega would be zero at, at the initial instant, because when, fa, when rope B fails at the very instant, there would be no omega. So here I have summation of forces equal zero, so that's like a static problem. And then the only force that I have in N direction is A N. So here immediately I can conclude a n would be zero. Now I have summation of forces in t direction. That would be m a g, the acceleration of center of gravity in t direction, or m r alpha. So summation of forces in t. In the vertical component, I have 800. Uh, I have uh, a t itself. I have the weight m r alpha m is one twenty r is two and then alpha so I have two unknown here alpha and a t so I can't solve it I need to resort to my third equation summation of moment because it's a fixed point you have multiple option you can write summation of moment about g i g alpha you can write summation of moment about point A, IG alpha plus MR alpha R, or because it's a fixed point, I can write summation of moment about point A, IA alpha. So summation of moment about A, force 800 Newton, which is acting on the end of the beam, is going to create a moment here. Here, the force 
800, the moment army is 4, is counterclockwise positive. So 800, the moment arm is 4. The weight is also creating a positive moment. And the mass is 120 times G, the moment arm is 2 because it's acting in the middle of the beam. Then I, which is 1 third, M, 120, L, the total length of the beam, 4 squared alpha. If you look at it, the only unknown that I have is alpha, which I find it to be 8.68 radian per second squared. And if I have alpha, if I plug it in into my second equation here, I can find 80. So 80 would be 105.7 Newton. So I found the three unknowns that I was looking for. The reaction forces, A and an AT, also the alpha here. So I found my three unknowns. Uh, so all of them are positive, so the direction I assume is correct. If you assume a different direction, you get a negative value. So really, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's a matter of your preference. And also I call them AN and AT, but one of them is contributing to creating the uh, acceleration in normal direction. The other one is tangential. You can call it NNT. So this is, would be our coordinate for the problem.